Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nymo's review of the Hilleke, Hilleke, H-I-L-U-C-K-E-Y, newest version, day clock, Hilleke, digital calendar alarm, elderly, extra large desk clock with five daily alarms and three medicine reminders for impaired vision and dementia, Alzheimer's, people suffering from Alzheimer's. So this thing gets 36 reviews, uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars, and let me just read some of the features. Clearly spells out the full day of the week, month, and date with no confusing, uh, no confusion. Easy to read, 8 inch LED, so it's a huge, huge display at 8 inches. Unique features allow, allows the users to themselves to set the display. What day is it today? Preset cycles, times. Overall dimensions 8.55 uh, by 6.76 by uh, 0.9 inches. All right, so let me open it up. Uh, I got this item from Hilliki. They sent it over. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to test it out, give my opinion of it. And since it is for the elderly, um, I would say I wouldn't, I mean, you'd think I wouldn't have to read directions to set this up. It should be so simple that I won't have to read the directions. So that would be one of my tests. Do, um, you know, it's made for, you know, even dementia patients, uh, Alzheimer's. So uh, even someone suffering from that could set it up as well. Or at least that would, what would be my thought. So clear, bold display, easy time setup, dual date mode, dual time mode. So let's see if I can set this up in just a few minutes without reading any of the directions. So it does give a instruction sheet. And just thinking, um, you know, this is for the elderly. It's a um, modest size writing, but it's not, I would say you, you know, if you're older, you definitely need glasses reading that. I don't know if you could absolutely read it, but here's the clock. I'm going to pull it out here. I like the packaging. There it is. It's just a white frame. You have the logo, Hilliki, a uh, little protective sheet cover on the front. I'm going to pull that off. And that's it. And then, um, so you have the unit, and then you have a plug right here. So it's kind of nice that it didn't come with a bunch of directions. I was kind of worried that it would come with a bunch of directions and a bunch of pieces. Uh, so to set it up, it has a little kickstand right here, so that's really nice. All right, I started up the unit, and it says it's Wednesday, 4.03 p.m., March 9th, 2017. So, let's see here. I'm just checking the time. It is uh, March 29th, so I got that right, but it is 2.06. And so I'm not sure where it got that information, but let's see if we can figure this out. Especially if I'm someone, you know, an older person who doesn't know, you know, is not used to using computers. So <laughs> let's see here, set time. So you just go, it kind of goes back and forth from the hour and the minute. So I'm gonna push that in. Let me actually, Let's see here. And then I go OK. Let's see if that works. Now it's flashing. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. All right, so 2 0. Th Let's try that again. OK. There we go. Now we're going to go over here. And it's 2.05. All right, so there we go. Wasn't too bad. Okay, so I did have to read the directions, but once I read the directions, I instantly knew what to do. Okay, let's just go through some of the settings. And just off the bat, um, it's a really nice dark black screen. You may get a little reflection on the camera, but in person, this looks like a nice black screen with nice bright lettering. It's really big. I like it. Uh, you can definitely see this very easily. Let me scroll through some of the uh, menus here. So you have the set date, obviously. Um, let's see what else we have. Set time. 
time modes, we have 12 hours, 24 hours, date mode, month, day, year, which is what I'm gonna use. Okay, now I'm gonna go down. User interface duration, zero seconds. Brightness, let me turn up the brightness a little bit. There we go, Let's turn it up to 10. All right, let me just read some of the features from the booklet. So we have the, uh, well the mini cup goes off in 30 seconds. We have the set time, obviously. We have the set date. We have the time mode, 12 and 24, date mode. We have language, brightness, the contrast, and we can even set med medication reminders, which is very, very useful. So highlight morning reminders. Let me go to that. Let me just go down here. So we have the brightness at night to one contrast. So we have morning medication reminders. Um, so you can set them. There's one at 8.30. It's off right now. Uh, afternoon. We have an evening medication reminder. We have alarm one, alarm two, alarm three, alarm four, alarm five. We have the chime set. All right, so I set the uh, alarm for the med medicine reminder. Set the medicine reminder. And this is what it says. Take your afternoon medication. Alright, so just a side note, you can customize the alarm, which is cool. You'll need to create a corresponding file folder on the memory card for five alarms with the names Alarm 01, Alarm 02, Alarm 03, Alarm 04, and Alarm 05. So it goes into more detail on this instruction booklet, but that's pretty cool. Um, it actually, you know, gives you a audio and visual reminder, so very cool, and then you can also set you know, just a normal alarm. And you get a little, wow, that's cool. It's a little color graphic of an alarm clock. I didn't even realize this was color until I see the alarm clock and it actually looks pretty good. So, thanks for uh, going through the features with me. The, the regular price on this is 99 99 so a hundred dollars the sale price is 48.99 and free shipping so do i recommend this product the answer is yes i think it's a little bit on the expensive side but you're also getting a lot of cool features a quality product does exactly what it says it's going to do and even better it looks better in person than i even thought it would look so the only downside i'd say is if you're an older person and you're trying to program this thing you're you can't look at the buttons while uh, looking at the screen your hand is going to be behind here so you have to keep kind of looking back going to the front screen and I think that could get just a tad bit confusing uh, also you're probably going to have to look at this instruction booklet it's not going to be completely intuitive uh, but it's nice that this instruction guide is only you know a couple pages so that's really nice so I do recommend this product, just with those kind of concerns in mind. Um, I think it's, uh, it's, it does what it says it's going to do, and I don't think you'll be disappointed in it. So thanks for watching my videos. As always, if you like them, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my content, uh, go to patreon.com slash nightmalls. And if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a site where people can go to support uh, their favorite, uh, you know, it could be anything. So artists, uh, YouTube people. Uh, almost anything. So that starts from a dollar a month, and I really appreciate you checking out. It's patreon.com slash nine malls, or just search Patreon for nine malls. All right, thanks for watching.